From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. A strong winter storm will impact the region through Wednesday, and Rapid City is under a winter storm warning until Thursday morning. Outside Rapid City, there's a blizzard warning where gusts up to 50 miles per hour will cause blowing and drifting snow. The Department of Public Safety says this is a we-are-not-kidding kind of storm, urging travelers to be aware of inclement conditions and to prepare to cancel travel plans. National Weather Service Rapid City meteorologist Greg Richards said because of the snow and wind, they expect travel to be pretty much impossible for the next couple of days. Rapid City could see up to a foot of snow before it tapers off on Thursday. Thursday. The weather won't stop the LNI tournament, which begins today in Rapid City. Amy Rose has more. The 46th annual Lakota Nation Invitational rolls into Rapid City today and runs through Saturday. The LNI began in 1976 as a basketball tournament and since then has grown into a major event encompassing not just sports, but educational and cultural programs. The red carpet entry is set for 4 o'clock p.m. today and games begin on Wednesday. Games are in the Summit Arena, Ice Arena and Barnett Fieldhouse. Besides basketball, youth will participate in the Lakota Language Bowl, Knowledge Bowl, Art Show, Hand Games, and a Poetry Slam. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem is proposing a 5% increase in the state aid to education for next year. That follows a 6% increase this year. Wade Pogany, executive director of the Associated School Board, says with inflation at 7%, it means schools will fall further behind. Pogany says there's still a lot of money floating around in Pier, so they are optimistic. The total state budget is just over $7 billion. In national and international news, a high-profile report on inflation will be released Tuesday morning and could show another month of cooling prices and add to evidence that the pressures on American households are gradually easing. A milder inflation report would also encourage optimism that the Federal Reserve will suspend its interest rate hike sometime early next year. Economists have forecast that consumer prices rose 7.3% in November compared with a year ago. Though still uncomfortably high, that would fall well below the recent peak of 9.1% in June and would amount to the fifth straight year-over-year slowdown in inflation. The CEO of failed cryptocurrency firm FTX has been arrested. Amy Rose has the details. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has charged the former CEO of failed cryptocurrency firm FTX with orchestrating a scheme to defraud investors. A civil complaint filed Tuesday alleges that Sam Bankman-Fried raised more than $1.8 billion from equity investors since May of 2019 by promoting FTX as a safe, responsible platform for trading crypto assets. The complaint says Bankman-Fried diverted customer funds to Alameda Research LLC, his privately held crypto fund, without telling them. The complaint also says Bankman Freed commingled FTX customers' funds at Alameda to make undisclosed venture investments, lavish real estate purchases, and large political donations. The Kremlin says that Russian President Vladimir Putin will not be holding his annual marathon news conference this fall. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov confirmed Monday that Putin wouldn't hold the annual news conference this month for the first time in 10 years. He didn't comment on the reason behind it, but many commentators attribute it to Kremlin's uneasiness about facing possibly unpleasant questions regarding what it calls Russia's special military operation in Ukraine. The British Defense Ministry observed that the Kremlin fears that the event could be hijacked by unsanctioned discussion about the war. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. A blizzard warning is in effect for the next couple of days. Today, snowy and windy with a high of 20. Snow continues tonight with blizzard conditions and a low of 15. Total accumulations in the Rapid City area are expected to be about 10 inches. And that was your Daily Slice for Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose. Executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.